What's up guys, out here on the InMotion V12 and we are really putting it through its paces today. This thing is a phenomenal wheel and if you are just getting into this hobby, I'm telling you this might be something you want to look at and if you really want to get a fast performance little 16 inch wheel you know to have, this might be something you want to add to your collection. This is a really, really top quality wheel right here guys and it has every feature you could possibly want on it. It's got the great speakers with good bass on it. It has the good performance. It has great headlights on it. It has great tail lights. It has the full LED functions on the side without going overboard. You got the kickstand on the back right there. And you know, they really, really did it well with this wheel. I feel confident in the build quality of it. The plastic on it, the shell, like I said, is phenomenal. I love the integration of the dashboard, but let's talk about the performance aspect of it. This thing is, incredible off-road so a 16 inch wheel i haven't had something that's so fast and so high performance off-road um in the 16 inch category and this thing is just sick dude it really has that good good responsiveness there you know there's not too much weight to flail around which you know some people are saying well what do you not like how do you like that in comparison to say wheels like the exn or like the sherman or something like that and the thing is honestly guys it feels like you have all the speed, performance, and torque there. It just feels like a way, a lot lighter, you know? And after you get used to those other wheels and stuff, and you go to something like this, man, after after whipping around those bigger wheels, it really, it feels like magic, man. It really does. It's something else. But the thing is, you gotta be, you gotta ride this in the correct scenarios, you know? If, you, if you're a guy that likes to go on big long range rides and all your buddies have those long range monster pros the sherman stuff like that uh getting something like this you know might not be the best option but i think adding this to your roster for you know just these daily rides or just like a little small ride or something you want to go do or a cool little off-road track you want to hit or a little trail you see the, that you want to go ride or something neat you want to hit uh this is this is it man and it can go really really far and it's really quite fast for the size of the wheel you know you got to look at your your performance package here you're getting a full digital display you're getting a really extremely quick snappy fast wheel um it has acceleration there it has the top end there and it has all your features there and it's at a great price point from a really you know i say in motion to reputable company in the game right now and it you know it's it's quality you know the, the trolley handle on it is phenomenal you got the the ports are in a great place it has a, a mud guard built in there's really so far after riding this thing for a week now there is nothing i can complain about at all i love it and i just was debating you know whether to go ride right now or either do this video i just i, I can't stop riding the, the thing it is just so much fun i love the, the integration of you see right there the dashboard just everything about this wheel man they did it right like i said you know they did it right and and even like the off-roading aspect i was thinking you know um what should my tire pressure be you know how should i run the, this 16 inch wheel tire pressure off-road and i'm running it a little bit um higher pressure than i normally would just to get used to it and kind of see how this rim is going to perform you know and i'm running it at about 35 psi which i, I typically run it a little bit lower you know like 30 psi and that's why you're seeing the kind of the dust coming up. The dust coming up is because it's a smaller diameter wheel and it's at a higher PSI, you know? And that's basically the only thing. And so it's just basically just throwing up a little bit more dust because of that. And uh, it also is just a, a really snappy wheel. Honestly, for a 16 inch wheel, it's phenomenal, man. It really is. And you can tell that this is, um, you know, two years ahead of most of the other typical 16 inch wheels out there you know this really has the technology to show for it as opposed to like the teslas and stuff like that this thing is just mean man i love it it is sweet it rides smooth um it's reliable so far i have had no, no problems with it uh, the kickstand's so convenient man people look at me like whenever i go go in somewhere i just kickstand it down and then they're just like under their head like you can just see the light bulb go off like Hey, that looks really, really convenient and easy. You know, you just go in somewhere, pop the kickstand down, do what you got to do. If it's like a mini mart or something like that, grab what you need and then head out. You know, you don't have to lock a bike up. You don't have to have a car. You don't, you know, it's just simple, easy, man. And this is just 
<laughs> the world would work so much easier if everybody had one of these, man. There'd be no traffic anywhere. It'd just be no pollution. It'd just it'd be incredible. It really would be. You know, the only only thing getting around on the road really would be people that have to go somewhere, you know, with equipment or uh, an RV or either if it's like an 18 wheeler that are trans, you know, transporting something or either somebody's got to take a big load of something somewhere, which they would use their car for that. But I think it would honestly get to a point where people didn't really need to use a vehicle much, you know, and it's just way more fun. And in those winter months, of course, you know, you want to hold back on it sometimes. It's like, you know, ah, I don't want to go out there when it's quite freezing cold and get on this thing some days. But you get the right gear, you get the right setup and everything, and, you know, it's just so much more convenient than taking a car anywhere, you know? You don't have to fool with it, and it's so much more fun, and it, you get to get outside, you get to get in the outdoors, you get the, um, you get that, everybody has that drive every day to, you know, get out and go do something, um, a recreational activity, you know, whether it be play frisbee golf, whether it be play nine holes of golf, regular golf, or go for a run, whether, whatever it may be, you know, and this right here really hits that note, you know, you can go out and ride long enough, and if you ride the right way, you can really get that ab, that ab workout in, you know, and have some great fun while you're doing it, and see some cool sights, and man, I just love it, and, and I think it's priced right, and I think it has everything you need on it, and I think it's a good looking wheel, and it's very well made, and so far, I have no complaints on it, you know, so we'll have to see. I, I, that's just one week of riding on it, you know, but for everything I've seen so far, I absolutely love this thing, and I just, I, I can't get enough of it. I'm about to go ride it again right now. This thing is just phenomenal. But anyways, guys, if y'all want to pick this wheel up, you can click the links below. There's a link tree, or either you can go to the um, any of the sites below. Um, I'm not sure if Rev Rides and E-Rides are getting these in soon. They might have pre-orders live as well, but you can get these for sure from E-Wheels. Uh, you can put your pre-order in right now for sure. Make sure you use that link below to pre-order. I also have my Amazon store with all my gear, camera gear and riding gear and all kind of other knickknacks. Link below as well, check that out. I know over at Rev Rides they have a good stock of the EX and the EXN, the, the B-Goad, and I'm telling you what, dude, I've been riding that Bigo EXN that I won that race on a lot. And if I wanted to compare this wheel to any other wheel, it would probably be that Bigo EXN. And this this feels like a mini Bigo EXN to me for some reason, like that wheel that I raced on. I feel like I could I could have literally performed just as well in that race on this wheel right here. Even though on that back stretch and everything, those veteran Shermans would have been fast. But man, this thing gets up to speed really, really quick. And it doesn't pedal dip at all in corners, man. And that's one thing that the B-Goat EXN, it wasn't doing. It was not pedal dipping at all, man. And that thing would just freaking fly around that, like, go-kart track style stuff, man. So if you're a city rider, man, if you're, like, dude, if you're a city rider, this thing is is sweet because you can, you can get this as a first wheel, progress fast on it due to the nature of it not being that heavy, you know, and you won't look like quite... An, as much of an idiot coming up to stoplights and stuff for that like learning curve of three months where you, you'll be kind of awkward man because you will you'll be a little bit awkward when you come up to a stoplight or something and you got a heavy wheel under you know with something a little bit lighter weight like this you'll be able to just put a foot on that thing like captain morgan and stand there you know you'll be able to just stand there with it centered and then you won't you won't be holding up a veteran sherman as your first wheel you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. You've done it. You look like an idiot, I bet, out there your first week on that veteran Sherman. And even even the first few months, man, um, if you're learning on it, you know, so that's the beauty of these smaller ones right here. You can really learn and not look like an idiot. When you're learning, one thing I found was that extra weight can be cumbersome. Now you can get performance to keep up a heavier person in a smaller package wheel like the 16-inch wheel you see here, the V12, that has everything on it. So... We're getting to a point where, you know, this might be the way some people want to go instead. 